So today we are taking a trip into Brisbane City. We've seen that there is a swimming pool in the centre, which is kind of like a little beach. It's called the Beach, I think, something like the Beach Swimming Pool, right on the riverfront. So we're going to be checking that out. And we're going to be checking out this city here, Brisbane City, Queensland, Australia. So let's see where it takes us today. So yeah, stay tuned to see what we get up to today in Brisbane. Brisbane Vegas. Brisbane Vegas. <laughs> Very, very random, but up this track, we've seen about two or three random barbecues. So heavy tea on there, and lots and lots of water on there. Ellie, you want a drink? Claire. Ellie's not thirsty, so she's not interested. And you've even got Eastern Water Dragons running around. This thing just jumped in front of us. Hey, up, mate. Cool lizards, them. Um. The best thing you can do is get a scooter and go over this nice block in the bridge. There's Ellie flying. Let's do this. There she is. This is the perfect way to explore the city. <laughs> Off we go! And we found a tiny little door. 45A, how cool that is. This place is absolutely awesome. So the Streets Beach in Brisbane is right on the riverfront in Brisbane City Centre. You can park underneath this location and we're paying around $35 for the full day. But obviously it's cheaper if you only stay in a few hours. I feel like every city in the world should have something like this. A free swimming pool, filled with sand around it, right in the middle of a city, especially cities like Brisbane, hot cities. Just absolutely unreal. Absolutely loving life here. Been here for around four hours now, chilling in the sun, dipping in out the pool, the sand's beautiful, the river over there. So yeah, absolutely beautiful. Definitely worth a visit if you're in Brisbane. And then you can walk just from the pool here Beautiful scenery all around. You can walk down this little walkway to the riverside. Beautiful views here. Especially as the sun's going down in the evening time, a lot cooler, a lot quieter. Beautiful. Got a little ferris wheel there. Got another little pool here. Walkway splitting them up.
you've got free showers just in there as well, so that's pretty nice. Wash down all the horrible water from the pool. And then you just walk round out the entrance over there, and you're straight down to the car park. Here we go. And it's hotter down here than it is upstairs. Trying to get a photo with that, with no people in it, is absolutely impossible. As soon as one person's there, someone else flies in. So it's an absolute chew. You have like a queue of people, and then you have like a full family just fucking jumping in there. It's so annoying. So there is the former treasury building. I bet back in the day that was a massive building in Brisbane and it just swarmed now. Big building, right next to it. Which makes it look absolutely tiny. But once upon a time, that was probably the biggest building around here. swimming pool for a minute there. Imagine that. Look at these, we've got some kangaroos. Cool. What's a boxing match? Oh, it's got a joey look. Beautiful architecture. Much better than these horrible high-rise buildings. Way better. Now we're just walking to Wickham Park. There's a nice little old windmill around up here. Nice little park. And then at the top, we've got the old windmill. There we go. This is nice. I much prefer 
older architecture to new architecture. Even these brick walls look way better. Got like a mast off the ship there. Look at this, nice little iron gate topper. I wonder if I could go in here. Ah, that door's locked. I wonder where the lights are on. Get them turned on. Cool. Nice little door. This is called street art, apparently. And we've got some red stairs. Ellie, you got to run up there and then run back down. Come on. Jacob's ladder, though. It's down here, babe. Pretty cool what they're made out of. Cool. Looking even nicer in the night time. Travelling in Queensland, there is a free swimming pool just north east of Brisbane called Settlement Cove Lagoon. That's where we're going now. So take a look at this video, see how cool this is. This place is huge. And I'm gonna go a little walk around. It's right on the beach from as well. So it's right on the beach. The water here is not very clear compared to other parts of Australia, but it's got a little beach here. It's pretty nice to have a stroll down. Let's have a little walk down here. Standing on this big pipe. You've got a pier over here you can walk out on. Beautiful. It's a massive area. Huge swimming pool. Lovely. Lovely there. A lot of these sun shades as well. Let's go around and show you what else is on offer. You've obviously got your free barbecues that you have everywhere in Australia. Free drinking water as well. Yeah. Some more little sun shades. So let's review the pool. Going in. Lovely and warm. And is there, look relaxing. Loving it. Beautiful. Ellie. Hey, 
And just so everyone knows, if you come, it's salt water. It's not fresh water or chlorine, but it's salty water. It's lovely. It's nice at this time of day in the evening because obviously the sun's going down. And it's not as warm. But the warm water is beautiful. Such a good place for free. This is obviously the second one I've been to in Australia now. There's one in uh, Brisbane City. So yeah, there's a nice little kids' pool area I'm walking through now. But yeah, really good day. Good day out for a family as well, just a weekend. There's uh, loads of changing rooms. There's kids' park over there. Changing rooms here. And then there's some just up here where I'm running right now, because that's where Ellie is. Um, I, think I've, uh, I think I've shown most of it. But yeah, really good little uh, swimming pool for free. It's coming a weekend or an evening. So get yourself down here if you're in Queensland. They even do fish and chips, but it's not open. Oh, oh. Nice. And obviously they've got showers. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this video of Brisbane Sea and Settlement Cove Lagoon. If you haven't already, look in the description. Every place I've visited in this video is down there in the description, so take a look at them. If you do visit any of these places after this video, please give me a comment and let me know what you think about these places and if you would recommend it to any of your friends. If you haven't already, please give me a subscribe. It really does help. I've got a lot of videos coming of Australia of my travels and there is a lot of videos on my channel as well of other countries I've been to last year. I'm going to more countries this year so stay tuned and yeah I hope you're enjoying the videos.